All right, man. Let's talk about uh. Let's talk about um. Did the Detroit Pistons do enough? This offseason, I didn't feel like they needed to do, in my opinion, I didn't feel like they needed to do a whole bunch. Um, I know a lot of people going around Detroit saying, well, they need to get a superstar and they need to, you know. But you just don't know what this is. And I'm going to do it live. I'm trying to wait as long as free agency wrap up. But then, obviously, after the summer league, then it's really Lions talk until they until the Pistons hit a uh, training camp. So, I got some good piston video ideas li lined up as well. Like, people be in a rush. And a lot of times out of 10, people be in a rush to go absolutely nowhere that needs to be going in a rush, too. But check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video. But, um... And a lot of people say, well, they didn't do enough. They need to do more. They, you know, they, they had they, they money, you know. They didn't want to utilize the money. You know, they knew they probably would Cam Johnson. But I just think they needed to improve on defense and shooting. I think, you know, for the most part, eventually with Marcus Sasser and the Short Thompson, they will improve on defense and shooting. I think that's going to happen with them. So... Um, I think that's going to happen. So, um, Joe Harris, okay, not the greatest defender, but I just think the biggest thing for them is to figure out what you got. And I don't want to continue to sound like a broken record, but the biggest thing for them is to be healthy and figure out what this is and what this can be. And be honest with, be honest with the assessment. Is this going to work? Can this work? Can't this work? And all that starts off with the back quarter, K Cunningham and Jay and Ivy, and then you can make adjustments going from there. Duran is, is a low maintenance guy. He gonna work now. How good he want to be is how good he go. He gonna keep working to be. Did it hurt my soul? Him seeing him and James Wiseman have a three point shootout. It's in my shorts and on, on TikTok. Yeah, it hurt my soul. <laughs> you know, but it's part of today's game. I can't fight it like that. Uh. Like uh, that two short song for women. Can't fight the feeling. But at the end of the day, I just think it's hard to add something major to a to, to the recipe. You don't know what, what you make it. You be like, well, we need uh, tomato sauce, right? But we need tomato sauce for if we make a potato salad. We don't know what, what we make it. We don't know what's on the table. We don't know what's on the table. That's the crazy thing about it. I can't tell you what's on the menu. So once they start sitting around, they start playing together, getting a rhythm together, building that rapport in training camp, summer league, training camp, preseason, regular season, getting some run, then we'll know. But I think they did the right thing. You don't want to take the – I think next year is more important than this year. And I think it's supposed to be some better names next year. So next year is but more important than this year because now going to next season, okay, man, this is what we got, this is what we don't got, this is what we can use, this is what we, we go, you know. So now you can kind of see where you stand at and what you need and what you don't need. Is this going to work? Can this work? Can we tweak this? Now it's no more. Can't blame Dwayne Casey, you know. So, and I, and I believe the dynamics of what they have can work with Kay Cunningham and Jay Nivey Durham. I believe that can work. But I just think in the right system and the right improvement, you know, and it's an alarming rate. I don't know if it's always been like this in the NBA, but it's an alarming rate of guys who can't shoot and then don't never improve on shoot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. Like, what are these dudes doing in the offseason? Like, is this like genetically impossible for some of these dudes to shoot the basketball? Like, what are you working on in the offseason? Is it just the lost art? <laughs> Is God just not making shooters like he wants? There might be it just never really been an abundance of capable shooters. Not saying everybody had to be silent deaf like Larry Bird. That's what Isaiah Thomas said his mother-in-law nicknamed Larry Bird's jump shot. 
And if you want to know how good Larry Bird is, other than you want to hear from, from people, go talk to all the guys who was prevalent in the 80s, watching basketball in the 80s, all the black guys. They swear by him. That's the ultimate respect. They swear by him. But my whole thing is they improve. They got depth. Oh, they're driving crazy, bro, in the suburbs. They got depth. They got shooting. I think their defensive potential just went up, and we'll see if these dudes can develop. But it's all going to start on the defensive end of the floor. It's all going. It's all going to be about them hanging they they hats on defense. And offensively, it's going to start with you know, K Cunningham, Jay Ivey, then the, the, the shooting behind them. And I like a lot of offense for them with a lot of pick and rolls, a lot of slashing, a lot of getting to the rim, looking to get a bucket at the rim. I like that for them. I like that for them. Just, just they should they should live in the paint. They should live in the paint, bro. They should be getting to the free throw line 10, 15 times a game. You know, a lot of oops to Dern, a lot of kickouts to the shooters. But, you know, people saying it wasn't enough. I think it was, I think they did what they did what they supposed to do. Don't go mortgage your future on a role player in Cam Johnson. 30 million for a role guy. You could have went out there and got a, you could have went out there for 30 million and got a John Collins the third. For less than that. Now he ain't the defender Cam is, you know, but hey, he can shoot it. You know? He might have a better chance of making an all-star than Cam Johnson too, to be honest. We truth be told. But uh but you know he was born out there in Utah. A lot of people don't know that about John Collins. He was an army brat. So he get to go back to Utah. Never been to Utah. Go out to the West Coast. It's cold as hell. I heard Denver. I heard Denver pretty nice too out there. I had an uncle who was a cop out there. Passed away a couple years, ago, a few years ago now. But uh, they came and sent them off right here though, so that was dope. But um, but nonetheless, dude, I'm fine with what they did. You know and what's so funny about it? What's so funny about it? You know when I kind of like and I kind of run into people that that kind of notice me. I think the ultimate sign of respect for me is people say, man, you be keeping it real. I mean, that's some people say, well, you just need to be a little bit more positive or whatever. Dude, I ain't here to tell you what you want to hear. You know, what my boy Dr. B.O.A. say on YouTube? You say you could go anywhere for the lies, but you come here to get the truth about Detroit sports. You can go anywhere to get the lies, but you come here. I'm still not for Dr. B.O.A. Go take a shadow out. <laughs> go anywhere to get the lies, but in Detroit, you come here to get the truth. And I always tell y'all, it's, it's a place for everybody. It's a place for people that want to live in where I carry fantasy land. You know, it's people that want to be in the middle or just want to be casual friendly. I ain't here. I look here, dude. The money is straight, but I'm here to tell y'all the truth. I tell the truth. I just being honest. I'm just here to tell the truth. So, I tell people like, like you literally want me to lie to y'all. And like and some, like some some people like being lied to. Some people can't handle the truth. When I say something encouraging like this, and I speak to them, and I say something positive, hey, people don't like it. People don't say, "Oh man, you know they don't bring. They'll never reference this shit. Never." But like I said I got no problem with everybody want to add an ingredient when you don't even know what 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 we eating, bro. We don't even know what's on the menu. So we gotta know what we eat first. So we'll see them. We'll see them hash that out. Hopefully next season. Hopefully it's in the positive man. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a few kinks, a few chinks in the armor. Excuse me, but hey, just gotta wait and see. But hey, um, but Joe Harris gonna shoot it. Yeah, he a defensive liability. So it's Boyan fucking Boyanovich. Just hope that they not dumb enough to start them in the same lineup together or have too many lineups with them together. But the shooting gonna be crazy. So you are gonna have to try it. You just hope you got them in enough in enough uh, lineups with shooters. I mean, with defenders. 
And really, team defense, you know, it ain't all about individual capability. Sometimes it's just simply about just communicating and effort. That's what it's sometimes about, communication and effort. Being where you supposed to be and being punctual. Everybody ain't going to be out there and beat Bruce Bowen and shit. Boy, old people, bro. Like, man, why are they even driving, bro? They just be looking like so fucking lost, bro. And I don't even mean to be mean. And that's not my intent, but Jesus Christ. But let me know what you girls and guys think. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Preach chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash up. Dollar sign CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Well, just Spotify and Anchor. Oh, sorry. Um, but I appreciate y'all. Peace.